The answer choices make this very obvious. In a way, yes, we're going to need to think about the apostrophes. We should know that this is they are, right? This is the contraction. This is it is. Uh, so these are not um, possessive pronouns, right? Remember, possessive pronouns, for whatever reason in English, do not get apostrophes, even though most other words do get apostrophes when we make them possessive. Pronouns are different. So it's probably not A or D. They usually just don't fit. We can even just read them in there, and usually that we, we hear that. Um, that there's an issue. So uh, the thing with the other part of the question is that this is a plural pronoun. This is a singular pronoun. So we're mostly thinking about how many things we're talking about. Uh, let's just read that sentence and see. That is usually the best way to go. But if it doesn't include the noun that we're referring to, we might need to go back. So let, let's just see what the sentence says. The animal, which lays eggs but also nurses its young with milk, has since been classified as belonging to the monotremes group. The reason that it's it's, this it's, is it says the animal, right? So that's singular. They're talking about one thing. It's not the animals, which lay eggs, but also nurses its young. Now, the, the reason this is so uh, frustrating is if we go back, they do talk about the animal in the plural earlier on, platypuses. So why does it switch? Well, because we stick to whatever is closest to that pronoun. So uh, the, the singular classification of this thing is closer to the blank. It's That's in the sentence. So that's what we have to go with. Um, we're still referring to the platypus, but we've kind of, we've done a weird thing here. So the SAT definitely has made that choice on purpose. They know that you are going to be like, oh, they're still talking about the platypuses. That's plural. So we need a plural. Well, they're talking about the platypus as like a singular thing now. It's weird, but it's doable. It's fine. They made it clear, right? It says the animal, one animal. So you got to just be on the lookout for those things. But luckily, the pronoun rule is really obvious to spot based on the answer choices. And as soon as we know that that's what we're dealing with, we can start to think about singulars and plurals and the traps that the SAT might set. So hopefully, just by having that on your mind, as you read, you are kind of looking out for potential traps and trying to find that right, uh, what we call antecedent, the word that comes before the pronoun that tells us what we are referring to. This is definitely a question you would not want to get wrong. I understand the trap is a little sneaky. But you got to see that kind of thing coming. You cannot afford a grammar mistake at all. This is an especially bad one.